What's going on everybody? Alex here, Nick and Zana Landscape. Today, we're installing a paver walkway. This house has really nice curb appeal. They've done a lot of work, but the old sidewalk is just getting a little bit worn out. So it's just kind of doing its own thing. And there's plenty of places to stub your toe on this one. So it's got to go away. She wants to pave her walkway. And we could do that for her. We're also taking out these concrete curbs here. There's one that runs that way, one that runs that way. Not too sure how deep those are going to be, but we're going to get the skid steer off here in a second and give her a shot. These are the pavers we're using. We're also edging the beds up there. So these charcoal ones on top, those are called Bella Border blocks. They're really nice to work with. They're solid. Um, and then we've got some Fieldstone Bella Holland 4x8 pavers. And we're not doing an edge on this one. We wanted it to look clean and kind of continue into the grass. And since we're doing those Bellas, so this walkway right here is all going to be the pavers up to the road here. And then along these flower beds is where the edge is going to be. And we didn't want to edge the bed with those charcoal, those Bella charcoal that I just showed you over on the truck. And then have some charcoal edging the sidewalk as the outside of the paver. And those two not match exactly, which they wouldn't have. So. I think it's I think it's smart. She said this is what she wanted to do, and I, I would totally agree with her. That's kind of what I told her I think we should do too, is no border on the walk. So you guys will see what I mean by that whenever I'm done. But if you follow us on Instagram and if you've been following us here on YouTube, you know generally whenever we do a walkway or a patio, we will do at least one course around the outside. Um, we haven't done any with two. I want to do some with two, um, but... We'll be getting into that, but like I said, generally we will do one one border, and on this one, we're not going to be doing that. Oh, summer. It sounds good right now after what we just experienced, doesn't it? Grilling out, lawns being mowed, and pools opening. These are some of the things we expect with summer. <laughs> And just like that, the sidewalk and the curb are gone. 12 minutes. The 
in the trailer. It really wasn't that much. I expected those curves to be a little bit bigger than that, but you never know. All right, so here we are a little bit later on in the day. As you can see, I got everything dug out. There is going to be a bigger square here at the end. Um, she wants kind of a, a landing out here by the road. Let's see, back up a little bit. That's kind of where people will park up here along the road. Some people park over there in the driveway, obviously, but some people are going to park up here by the road, and she wanted a, a little bigger landing here so I think it'll turn out nicely but that's what we've got dug out it's a foot wider on each side and it's three foot deep up here so and then you've got the walk up here and then we put in our edgers too got those and then like I said guys there's no base under these these are on the dirt but they're heavy enough to where it's like today it's wet it rained yesterday so I take my dead blow For those of you that don't know what a dead blow is I'll show you that Wherever it is, somewhere around here. This is a dead blow. If you're going to be doing landscaping, you need to get yourself one of these. It is like a rubber mallet, but it's not a rubber mallet. Basically, what it, it's got a bunch of sand in here, and when you pick it up and you hit down, all that sand follows through. Take a better shot. All that sand and it kind of smacks it in there. And you can do it on both sides. This one is a three, oh, this one is a three pounder. They got four, five, eight, ten, whatever. We've got three, four, and five. Um, but that's what you use for these bricks. So I just set it in there. Don't put it on top of grass or anything, you know, get it down to the dirt, but set it in there, take your dead blow few hits on each one I think I did each side in about 15 minutes so I did the whole place in 30 minutes and it looks real good and then I'll take the concrete saw see I've got these end one marked here cut that cut the one on the other side and then I'll stick these two in by the steps see I just turned it sideways because I had my stake there to make sure I had the proper gap and then just kept on rolling and I wanted to start here so there's a full one here and not a cut one up by the steps so it'll look real clean by the steps but I think all in all this is going to turn out really nice um, as far as this I didn't use my laser or anything you guys saw how it looked whenever we took out the sidewalk so the sidewalk on average was probably about three and a half inches and most of it was sunk about an inch so we had about four and a half inches already and between our brick, which is two and a quarter, our sand, which is an inch. So now we're at three and a quarter. If you're following along, you have the brick at two and a quarter, you have the sand at an inch, that's three and a quarter, and then rock is gonna be four inches. So we need about seven and a quarter, which is what we're at. And like I said, I'm not using a laser level. I took a two foot level uh, right here. Took this guy, and then just kind of set it in the trench as I went. But you just kind of set it in there and then work your way back you know set it in every every two foot or something and work your way back and as long as it's level you know that's about it and then we'll put our rock in we'll do the same thing with this level again and then we'll use our screed rails for our sand but i'll show you guys all that but pretty much getting to this point um all we needed was a tape measure and this two foot level and then the string line i have up just to make sure that i cut out the right amount but um, the old sidewalk was real crooked, so I didn't have that to go off of, but I had to uh, I had to fix it up. Basically, over here on the right side, the grass was in about four inches on the string, and then it was pretty much where it is on the left side. So the, the sidewalk was actually started out at about 40 inches where the steps are, and then down here was about 38 or 37 inches, so it actually got skinnier as it came along. I don't know who did the measuring there. Or what happened but uh, something got screwed up but anyway up to this point all I've used is as far as you know tools and to make it level and all that was the string line a two foot level and a tape measure so for beginners you guys can definitely do this it's gonna take a little more time if you got to get the sidewalk out and you don't have a skid steer but you can use a big sledgehammer 
and that'll usually break up these kind of old sidewalks that are just sitting on dirt which if it's got a bunch of gaps in it and it's sinking and all that stuff chances are it is on dirt so don't be afraid to jump in and take care of these kind of jobs nothing special and here coming up in this video you guys are going to see exactly how i do it about an inch or two of rock right there um, two in some spots I think it may even be more um, but basically compact all that real good like we just did put in some more rock then we'll compact it again and then we're gonna take a two by four and lay it across so we're gonna set it on the grass over here we're gonna set it on the grass over here and I've already done that to see how level it was it was pretty close in the spots I checked uh, so we'll do that and then we'll measure down from there so we'll act like the two by four, you know, is going to be the paver or whatever, and we'll be able to measure down and get our depth. All right, guys. So, like I said, the first layer of rock, it really isn't too important. Um, it's got to be roughly, you know, two inches or whatever. But you just want to get it close. I wouldn't spend a whole lot of time trying to get that exact. Just get that close and compact it real good, like we did. And then what you're going to want to do is lay your board across your trench here. So we've got a two by four that'll span this stretch here and then I'm gonna put a level on top of it. it doesn't have to be a four foot level it can be a two foot level or it can be a little little small level it doesn't matter but this bubble is in the middle so our ground is is level here and then what we're gonna do is measure down and see how much we have here so we're at about four and three quarter is what we have and I want the pavers to stick up about a half an inch above this grass here so what we're gonna say so it's four and three quarter plus our half inch I want them to stick up so we have about five and a quarter and then those pavers are two and a quarter roughly and we have one inch of sand so we need three and a quarter and we have five and a quarter so that tells us we need exactly two more inches of rock and then I'm gonna check it around here see right here it's about four and a half so a little less than two over here and over here it's four and three quarter as well so that's that's how we're gonna do this walkway and I'm just gonna keep checking different spots all the way down as I go and uh, add as necessary and then like I said this this round of rock I am gonna get really close so I'm gonna go down roughly real quick with this board check what I need then I'm gonna throw all the rock in here and remember where it goes uh, this is a small sidewalk so it should be pretty easy and then uh, once I get all the rock in here I'm gonna check it again and I'm gonna get it really really close uh, take the come along and and go around and try to get it pretty much exactly exactly where I need it to be which is uh, about two and two and uh, three quarter below this board which will put me three and a quarter um, with going the half inch up here so that's where I need to be um, but if I get it really close with that then I compact it then I pretty much uh, I should be set but um, if, if I don't spend the time getting it close before I compact it then I'm gonna go around and have to scrape up what I compacted and those of you that have done that you know that's not fun so get it right the first time and uh, we should be in good shape all right I did just as I said checked it all put in some more rock compacted it and it is right where it needs to be guys so I'm gonna go get some sand we'll put our screed rails in which all that is is these two PVC pipes put these in just like that You dump the sand between them and then we'll take the two by four and pull the sand along and then you have one inch of even sand and then you have to slide the rails down towards the end of a walk um, once you get all that 
leveled out you'll slide those down don't pull them out just slide them uh, and then fill in the gap with your trowel just have some sand in a wheelbarrow or your skid steer bucket or whatever or just have a little extra pile somewhere and, uh, just fill in those but yeah it's pretty easy once we get the sand in there time for some pavers and this one I'm not gonna lie guys this is gonna look pretty good whenever it's done pretty cool project I like it all right the sand is going down I meant to grab the camera before I got started and I got in a hurry and, and jumped on it. I got a call about a big retaining while I'm going to bed so I'm kind of excited about that but um, anyway got your screed rails in there like I said you'll dump your sand in there and this back part's already kind of leveled out and I just used my come along to level that out uh, I've kind of been doing that lately just to get it close and we got all the excess down here but basically what you'll do is set your 2x4 on there and then you're just going to slowly pull it back get all the excess away and make it nice and smooth and then you'll just slide the rails down and continue that way and fill in your gaps as you go and like I said we just generally use our trial and we'll use a little bit of the excess from the side. This is all we do. All right guys, here we are morning of day two. I got a little scattered rain yesterday, it was about 100 degrees, so if any of that didn't make sense, let me know. Check out the new truck. Little sneak peek. Looks pretty good, you gotta paint the bed. You gotta do a couple of things. Take off the dual mud bag. Get that off the right area, but you can be nice for sure. But this is where we're at. <clears throat> So we've got all the sand dumped in where the pipes were 
and then we'll take our hand trial and we'll level all that out as we lay so we'll start up there by the steps so we have full bricks up that way you wouldn't want a little strip up there or anything weird so we're going to start up there and we're going to make sure we have full bricks or half bricks and then we're going to run run down this way and then we'll end down here and again we'll end where we can have full or half bricks so nothing looks goofy but there's really not much to it um, in the back of your product catalog you'll have all the uh, all the different patterns you can do whatever product you're using and just pick one and run with it when we do four by eights uh, we always do the same pattern just because we got it down but uh, I'll show you that here in a few minutes and if you've seen our other paper videos you know how we go about that so shouldn't take us long we'll have this one wrapped up i'm hoping here in the next few hours and we're going to go hopefully get started on a retaining wall today We got it all finished up, let's check this out. There she is. About 17 feet long, 18 feet long, something like that. And remember we had those two concrete curves here, tore those out. Seed and straw, and that's a wrap.
And we didn't really do too much disturbance of the... Jeez, Nick. I'm a little seed happy here. Quality, man. Quality. Quality, not quantity. No, I already told her that this seed was not going to want to take because it's so dang hot. We'll have to come back this fall and seed it again. But some of it might. I told her to water it, but looks good. Yeah, that's fine. What does this do exactly? Straw? Yeah. Holds the seed down. Captures. Oh, it just keeps it from blowing away.